graffiti is like the type of thing you've got to be really dedicated to, not only to just stay on top of, you know, what you're doing, but it's like there for the taking. It's just up to you to kind of uh, keep yourself motivated, and, you know, and stay on top of it. And it's kind of like the truest form of what you put into it is what you get out of it, you know. tells people like she could never keep any pens or pencils around because I'd always steal them and draw on every piece of paper in the house and just kind of kept kept going became an obsession I just really liked art really just kept you know kept going with it ever since I can remember like probably the first graffiti I'd seen was going through Chicago um, I would see rooftops with like silver tags and somebody had painted a character and it stayed up forever this is you know back before they were buffing like crazy I'm assuming it was a, a, a graf like a, a writer character he was running and then like the main character was like a cop like blowing a whistle like chasing after him Trying to, trying to really just do a lot of uh, fine art. I've been dabbling with um, trying to get back into oil painting. I live in Southern California right now. I moved out there for work probably three or four years ago. Uh, I paint with my crew, MSK. Uh, when I'm back in the Midwest, I paint with uh, Heavy Metal from Minneapolis. Um, <laughs> is that dog super loud? <laughs> the, the main people I've been inspired by, you know, I, I've actually gotten the pleasure to paint with. I'm lucky enough to paint with pretty much all of the people that inspire me. I mean, for the most part, I'm just trying to improve on what I did last time. And it happens that the people I, I get to paint with help me to do that a lot just by inspiring me and keeping me, keeping me on my toes or whatever. Thanks for checking me out on vmb.com. <laughs>